G'day guys, it's Dave and myself out testing detectors. Um, basically, um, the weather has let up enough for us to get out, even though it's windy, you can probably hear the wind, and uh, yeah, we've got a, uh, what's that, a 4500? A 40, a uh, 45, yeah, it's... Um Stock standard. Stock standard 4500. We're using just for reference around here. This has come in for updates. It hasn't had anything done to it. So, yeah, I've got the microphone clipped on near the speaker, so hopefully you can hear it. So yeah, I better I better do the camera work. <laughs> it's too busy. Yes. Yeah. So okay, the ground is um, a little bit damp, and green grass does have an effect on these detectors. Especially, we're using an old coil on on purpose, uh, a small coil, so we don't get power line interference. But we're using a small coil, uh, and uh, it's an old one, and. That's a zero point zero five. Basically, David's just basically got it pretty close to the target to hear it. And the point one, it'll scream on. Okay, so that's a stock standard one, and we're going to test that with um, that other one. The uh, we'll call it the uh, the washing machine. The, the, the washing machine initials detector. Yes, okay. Cool. Anyway. Work. So, yeah. So that, this is the area we're doing here. This is right next to the Canadian lead. And you can see the big expanse of space here. This is actually all gold field, but what they've done, you can see a big dig hole Actually, there's dig holes around. You can see the old dig holes right there in front of us. Can you see the depression? That's a dig hole. And if you have a look over that way, Dave's just hit something huge. Uh, over that way, there's more dig holes. So it's actually grassed over, um, you know, and it's been dozed, I suppose. And uh, yeah, that's where we are on the Canadian lead. It may look like, you know, someone's, some farmer's paddock, but it's not. This is a lead area, and uh, I'll show you where the lead is. I've shown this before, but there it is. That is the Canadian lead, and that was as rich as almighty. Uh, runs, runs here, runs across the road. Yeah, it goes, goes right round. I think it meets up with Pennyweight Gully which we can still uh, get access to part of that if we want. Yeah, this, this was a very, very rich lead here. Very rich indeed. So that detector is good. Yeah. So yeah, just, yep, okay. We're just proving out with a normal detector. Um, the coil... Yeah, it's... With the wet wet grass, yeah, mm -hmm. but that's to be expected. If you go over there on the on the dry stuff over there, it um it'll uh, be a lot easier. Ground balance and everything. It's just wet grass, and I think that that coil might be a bit thin on the Faraday shielding on the bottom, the carbon uh, paper. So, how's that sound? <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of junk around. It might be a big nugget. You never know. You never know. What did you bring a dude here and he found a silver coin? Across the road. Oh, okay. There was, um, uh, what's his name? The guy who does bathrooms. Yeah, what's his name? Um, oh, <laughs> hang on. I should remember his name. 
Yeah, he, he, I wanted to get shown how to use the detector and he, he found an old coin across the road from us. So this area here is all, all gold field. Uh, and uh, yeah, well this is actually over there. That's a nature conservation area now. So uh, they don't want you to go and digging up the uh, old lead. You can see right up in the distance there, they've got those uh, plastic uh, protectors around new tree plantings right in the middle oh dare, dare i do this see what happens normally i do this i cut the video out so yeah up there it's all native stuff now i'll zoom back out anyway i want this i want the sun to come back out it was warm when the sun was out even though it's only 16 degrees celsius it's better than here where it's you know, usually lucky to get over 10. So yeah, we've been um, stuck inside and haven't been able to get out to do anything. We've got a stack of big coils to test as well. So give you another zoom around here. I just do it slow so you don't get car, car sick and fall off the couch or sofa, depending where you are. There's someone shed over there on the end. But that's where uh, this area stops. And uh, yeah, if you can see on the on the ground there, we've got a whole heap of uh, those big drag coils ready to get unfurled and tested. So we've also brought some uh, low frequency modded detectors as well. We'll test those out. We'll see how they go on the big coils. Uh, David's got a what? I don't know. We'll zoom back out. There we go. It's like not even on. <laughs> Quiet as. Yeah, same as the other one anyway. Do, 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 do. Yeah, cool. There's a big piece of junk there. I know. Nice. So. Oh, I'm trying to keep up with Dave running around the place. There he goes. Yeah, it's all um, quartz and uh, um, rock and everything under the grass here. So it may look deceiving, but it's actually a gold field. It's all gold field here anyway. Anyway, it's not bad. It's part of Sparrow Ground. It's a continuation of where Sparrow Ground uh, with a lot of small gold. I think that's what they called it for, uh, Sparrow Ground. It was very small pickings. And the other place up the road, what have we got? Magpie. <laughs> so, you know, keep your eyes open. There was gold on the ground, I suppose. Back in 1850s or whatever. Where's the gain on that? It's, it's so quiet. It's factory default. Oh, it's all, factory, all de factory default. So Dave's done them all factory default. It's going to enhance now, so it's going to be a bit. Oh, normal yeah. mode on that um, small stuff absolutely powers. Yeah. I wouldn't use Enhance here in a million years. Yeah. You know, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, you, sometimes you want to dig up stuff like that because... Uh, you can find old coins in these areas. So. You might find gold too. Because a lot of the uh, stuff out of the lead was tossed up here. But even look at that, uh, that hole over there. You can see that hole. Um, it's pretty hard to see. Hang on. How can I do this? Yep, there. 
<laughs> That's where the hole is. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's an old, old. Um, you can tell it's an old miners' hole. There's a few of them around here. Anyway. A lot of the depressions around here are old miners' holes that have just been roughly dozed over, and it's been turned around. There's one there right in front of us too. Look at that. That's all um, uh, a depression there. Actually, there's a lot of depression. When you start looking around, looking for it, there's a lot of it. So, okay. You well, can have this, and I'll unfold these absurd coils okay so we're gonna we'll cut this we're not gonna do any more well, i don't know if you want to wander around here, you can. no yeah. well i didn't bring a pick yeah. not that i can dig here because it's a con conservation area <laughs> i should mention <laughs> that we're not we can't dig up here we can dig up across the road that's an open slaver go for your life um but uh we're gonna do these calls one by one we'll do do this in a um a number of videos so what we'll do i'll cut this one and uh yeah, we'll, we'll go back and see how we're going with the big uh, coils. Anyway, back in a minute.